Hey there, Metalheads. Welcome back to my YouTube channel here on YouTube. And I'm here for my next C pickups video. So, yeah. I've actually posted a total of five CDs. But I only have a total of four because I got all of my CDs on Discogs. And one seller ends up sending me the wrong fucking CD, which I'm still pissed off about that. But once I get that one I was supposed to get, I will be in a better mood. But yeah, I will definitely have that album. And the album that I was actually supposed to have was supposed to be Countdown 2 Extension by Megadeth. But instead, the seller sends me Euthanasia instead of Countdown to Extension and I happen to message the seller or whatever about this and he says he incorrectly listed Countdown to Extension and he didn't have it. But it's whatever. So yeah, I was supposed to have both Countdown to Extension and Euthanasia, but it's whatever. Because I'll definitely get Countdown to Extension, but yeah. This right here is Euthanasia by Megadeth. And yeah, this is the 2004 remixed and remastered version, so it comes with a few bonus tracks. Pretty good album. I wouldn't say it's as good as Countdown as extent. I mean, I wouldn't say it's as good as some of their other albums like Rust in Peace or Countdown to Extension or, um, so far, so good, so good, and those types of albums, you know. I wouldn't say it's as good as their classics, but this album is still classic itself because it came out back in 1994. But yeah, favorites from this would be The Toot and the Moan, just an amazing song overall. Definitely my favorite song on that album. Another song on here I like is Addicted to Chaos. Of course, the song Train of Consequences, um, Family Tree. The Killing Road, Blood of Heroes, yeah, this is a pretty good album. But other than that, though, let's get to move on to the next band. Alright, so the next band is a band that I didn't have any albums of, but I'm going to start getting albums from this band, since I'm a really big fan of this band. And the band is Miss May I, and this is their third album, At Heart. Just a really amazing album now. This isn't my favorite Miss May I album by any means because it's not as heavy as their first two albums, but it's still a great metalcore album. But yeah, favorites from this would be M M Hey Mister, of course, Hey Mister being one of their most popular songs. Just a really amazing song. If you guys haven't heard this song, you definitely check it out. Another song on here I really like is the last song on the album which is called Ballad of a Broken Man, just a really great album ender. Um, another one on here I like is Leech. Yeah, just a really good album. Like I said, it's not as heavy as their first two albums, but At Heart by Miss May I is still a great album and I'm finally excited to have an album from them. Definitely looking forward to buying the rest of their albums when I get the chance. But yeah, that was At Heart by Metalcore Band, Miss May I. Alright, so, two more to go, guys. Alright, so the next band, I have three albums from them now since I have this album about to show y'all. So, the band is Motionless and White, and this is their album, Infamous. And yes, it comes in plastic. Really good album. This is definitely, um... Motionless and White's most diverse album because it has a lot of diversity to it when it comes to the sound and stuff like that of them. It has metalcore, gothic metal, and industrial metal on this album. Just a really good album. It's probably my favorite Motionless and White album as of now because like I said I only have three out of their five releases which I'll get the other two when I can. But yeah, out of the three I have, this is probably my favorite, but it's hard to say though because Creatures in Disguise are great albums too, but yeah. Infamous is a really great album from them, so it's really hard to decide which album is my favorite out of the three that I currently have. 
but yeah, they're all four grade albums, but yeah, this is Infamous, uh, Motionless and White, and this is the Digipack version, even though it is the standard edition of that one. But yeah, favorites from this would be Devil's Night, America, Puppets 2, The Rain, Feet, Born, Speed, Stride of Soil Work, If It's Dead, We'll Kill It, Feet, Branded, and I can't say his last name, Should Pity, I know I'm butchering that, I'm sorry I'm not good at some last names of these vocalists of these bands, but it's fine. And another song on here I like is Synthetic Love, Hate Fuck, Underdogs and Flesh, just this whole album is so damn good, guys. It's hard to pick favorites from. Even if you're not a fan of this band, this album is still one I think you would like. Just a really great album. Alright, and last but not least is Red in their album. Until we have Faces, and yeah. This is also my third album that I bought from this band. I only have a few more left to go until I have all their albums. So yeah, this album is really good. It's hard to decide which album is my favorite so far from Red because I have three of their albums. But yeah, it would either be End of Silence or this album here because Release the Panic, it is a good album, but it's not as good as End of Silence or Until We Have Faces. So yeah, but out of my three, this or end of song which would be my favorite but yeah favorites from until we have faces would be the opening track feed the machine faceless lie to me denial not alone him for the missing just a really beautiful album ender and a really beautiful ballad my favorite red ballad by far but yeah guys other than that that's gonna wrap it up for my cd pickups this time around but other than that, let me know which albums you guys got recently. This would be mine. So yeah, I'll see y'all next time. Stay metal and yeah, peace.